Hi guys, here in this lecture we are going to discuss an interesting topic that is the compounds containing quintuple bonds. Okay, right. And we are familiar with the compounds containing quadrupole bonds. Can you give the example for quadrupole bond containing compounds? So the well-known example is rhenium dimer. Okay, so where each of the rhenium is, that means each of the rhenium is contributing four electrons to make a four bonds with another uh, rhenium metal. Okay, right here in chemistry, a quintuple bond is unusual type of chemical bond and it is first reported by Philip Power. Okay, Philip Power in 2005. So on the compound that is bulk aryl substituted dichromium compound. Okay, so just try to take its structure. So here chromium, chromium having five bonds in between them with a Bahubali like bulk ligand. Okay, so just take it and just have the patience to take its uh, structure right here CH, CH3. So same bond can be observed and here also. Okay, so this is the uh, ligand absorbed on each of the chromium here you can find the same ligand okay so due to the presence of this a big bulk ligand the chromium can only make coordination with one ligand each of the chromium can only coordinate with one ligand okay that's why there is a possibility of uh, five bonds in between two chromium metals Okay, right. And due to this bulkness and steel factor of the ligand, the monochrome that means only single coordination also making a stability or making the st making stable or stability for the given chromium dimer. Okay, right. Now, so in, we know that each chromium containing six electrons, six valency electrons. I am here. One electron is used to make coordination with. A substituted aryl ligand. Okay, so that's why each of the chromium is having five electrons in its d orbital. Okay, so the total electrons equals to 10. Now, the binuclear complexes which are having quintuple bonds. So, here we can use the special molecular orbital diagram. So, where the molecular orbital can be drawn here. So, just to take it, the D Z square which is making a bonding sigma uh, hybrid orbital okay right and the next case here so simply uh, dyz and dxz which are making pi, uh, pi bonding orbitals now so here dxy dx square y square which are making bonding hybrid molecular that means delta orbital okay right and now so here we can see anti-bonding molecular orbitals as here so d x y and d x square y square delta star that is anti-bonding delta orbital now d uh, d y z and d x z that is five star orbitals and next one is simply d z square and sigma star so this is the molecular orbital diagram can be used for uh, bimolecular uh, bimolecular compounds which containing quintuple bonds okay now for the given chromium dimer we have seen that 10 electrons are contributing from two chromium metals okay so that's why just try to fill those 10 electrons here so we can fill like this now all the 10 electrons are filled in bonding molecular orbital so no electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital now by just using this molecular orbital uh, diagram so we can find bond order so which we have the formula that is half into number of electrons in bonding molecular orbital minus number of electrons in anti-bonding molecular orbital now here half into minus zero so simply it result five so it is indicating the bond order in the given uh, chromium dimer is five so that also confirms that it is having five um, five bonds in it that is quintuple bond in it okay right and 
uh, next example just look at we have another example having pentapole bond that is a molybdenum dimer so here in between the two molybdenum we are having five bonds okay and here the molybdenum dimer is having uh, diimido ligand so bridged ligand so just take it so this is the ligand is of the here aryl group now so this is the example in which we can see a uh, pentapole bond okay right and here uh, in both these pentapole containing dimers that is chromium and molybdenum dimer so and they are colored so that is the color is just due to the transition between delta to delta star now from by just using molecular orbital diagram so the what is electronic configuration we can say sigma square okay sigma square and uh, pi uh, 4 and delta uh, 4 okay so this is the electronic configuration of the dimers which are having pentapole bonds okay right and thank you very much and if you are interested just visit chemmosses.online website uh, to get a uh, best online courses to get guaranteed success thank you